Hey what's up it's Philip and welcome back to another video. If you are new into Unreal Engine 5 I think this video will be uh, very helpful and I will going step by step showing you how to create a basic materials and how to import textures from a free website and how to set up your textures. Also I included a very nice tip of creating material instances so you can uh, dynamically change uh, values from materials. Don't worry everything is super easy to do so uh, let's start. To start creating your materials go to the content folder and over here just right click and click material. And you can name this material for example m underscore material 1. And we have a material. If you double click it to open it up you will get this window. Don't worry about all these options over here. We will uh, go through uh, the basic ones so you can have a, a basic understanding of your uh, materials. On the left side you can see that we now have our sphere. It's a black sphere but uh, we want to for example change the color. Uh, you can go over here and right click constant tree vector. This constant 3 vector has 3 values so you can uh, observe this as a RGB color. So just drag and drop it to the base color and nothing changes. To change the color just double click over here. And we can easily change this color for example to be green and hit OK. But we want to alter the properties of our material. You can see on the right side it says metallic. You can go over here and type in for example 1. And you can see that our sphere has a more metallic look. Unfortunately you can see the roughness is 0 0.5 and we want to move this to complete zero so we can have this nice reflective smooth metallic material. You can also drag and drop it to over here into the emissive color and you can easily have nice metallic glowing color. Hold out break this and when you are done with your material you can just hit apply and save. And let's go back to our level and drag one sphere, position it to the center, focus it and now just drag and drop the material to your object. And this is the easy way to create a material. But what if we want to apply a textures to our material? We can do that by going to this polyhaven.com. It's an awesome website and go over here assets and you can see these textures. So let's for example use this fabric pattern, click it. And we want to download it. On the first drop down menu you can see the resolution. I will go with 2K. Second is a zip file. You can go with the Blender or GLTF if you want but zip will be just fine. And uh, now we can choose the zip contents. We don't want this blend. We don't need this GLTF. We can use the ambient occlusion or we can use the ambient occlusion roughness and metalness everything inside the one. No we'll just skip this. We will choose this color one normal map and this is a direct x and this is the OpenGL. It's recommended that you use direct x but OpenGL is just fine. It depends on your purposes and uh, what you want to achieve. I will go with direct x and roughness. Don't worry about everything over here. I will explain everything as we are creating our material. Just hit download and here under the fabric pattern double click to open it. You can export textures open your textures and we can see our maps here. To import them go to Unreal Engine and right click here and go with a new folder and type in textures blah 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 or you can delete this and just drag the whole folder to your Unreal and it will automatically create the textures folder and all the textures inside. And drag and drop this uh, albino map. You can just drag and drop it to your uh, object and you can see it automatically applies to our object but it creates our material automatically. We don't want to do that or if you want to do that it's okay no problem but we want to create a, a different material our custom material so we go over here right click material and this will be our M material 2. Double click to open it. You can go control space to open things up go to your textures and drag and drop to your uh, editor you can select the first one, hold shift, the, select the last one and just drag and drop it. So what to connect with what? It's not a problem at all. Make some room so we can see everything. If you click on this node, you can see that it says fabric pattern color one. So this is a color. As you remember, we connect our 
basic uh, color with the base color so we'll do this here drag and drop to the base color and move it up the next thing we need to find metallic but i think we don't have a metallic do we have a specular no do we have a roughness yes roughness is somewhere over here if you click over here you can see the name of the texture that it says rough this is a roughness so connect it to roughness to give our texture a more realistic look let's go with the normal drag and drop to the normal and we have ambient occlusion you can see AO in the title drag and drop to the ambient occlusion you can see on the left side our material so what we are gonna do apply save go back and drag and drop the material to our uh, object let me show you a nice uh, trick that will save you uh, lots of time uh, for example open your uh, first material and let's say you want to change the roughness to be one like this and metallic to be zero we need to constantly change things over here inside the material there is an awesome way to expose these variables over here so you can change everything uh, while you go and see everything changes in real time to do that we will uh, create some parameters so hold the s on your keyboard and left click and you can see the scalar perimeter we can change this to be metallic and now all you need to do is connect with the metallic and as you can connect you can see that our value are now going over here but we can now control our values over here under the default value so select this parameter this is a name and default value will be zero it's okay let's keep it zero same thing go with the roughness you can just duplicate control d to duplicate and connect with the roughness and change the name to be roughness and also value to be zero but what about this color what if you want to change the color you can convert any of these things into a perimeter so right click and convert to perimeter so color and now make sure to save apply save and now we can change on the fly but not with our master material but with our instance so this master material will be controlling all these options over here but we want instance so right click create material instance and let's say to be one just for the sake of the purpose and now drag this instance here you don't need to touch this material at all we will just creating instances and changing instances and this material will control the material over here we have instance we drop instance over here and if we open instance you can see parameter groups global scalar perimeter values and in this drop down menu you can see metallic and roughness so we can change metallic to be one if I go over here and make this a little bit smaller you can see immediately how things are changing in the real time let's say we want super rough material over here and change roughness to be one just hit save and we have a rough material good thing is if you select your uh, sphere hold alt and duplicate you can create another instance over here right click create material instance to be two and let's check out things let's expand these global uh, vector parameter values here and let's say we want to change color click over here and change color to be red and we want this to be super metallic we hit save and we drag and drop our instance here let's make another one another instance you can see how easy and fast you can change the values over here let's bring this instance to the top and change the color enable it change the color to be save it go to level and drag and drop it here and this is it i hope this video uh, was helpful to you if it is drop some likes and comments below and see you in some other video have a nice day and uh, bye 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 and bye bye